Hello and welcome to my code rate video. My name is Bernd Uhr and I want to talk about um, rocking your tests with mocks. Um, what does it mean? Um, we have Spring 4D for some years now, a great open source framework to leverage the power of Delphi. And in this session we will take a look at the mocking framework, how to use it, how to get started with mocking, mock out your interfaces and classes and um, write better tests with it. First of all, what is mocking all about? If you're mocking out something, you replace a productive implementation with a special implementation for testing, the so-called mock. You can write them manually, completely on your own, or can you, you can use frameworks to do uh, most of the work for you. Um, the difference between a mock and a simple stub or dummy is that um, a mock always contains some extra code to log and check calls made to the mock. So you can make sure how often did you call your methods, um, did you call it with the right parameters and so on. On the other hand, if you look what a unit test should do or should not do, um, a unit test should better not use databases, network, file system, external resources and so on. Um, you have to find a way to get rid of them, get them out of your tests uh, to avoid writing integration tests instead of unit tests. Mocks can help you to replace this concrete access to databases or resources um, with interfaces and mocks. So you can um, mimic the behavior uh, without using it directly. Um, the number of classes that need to be tested with resources is minimized and thereby you can increase your test performance. You can even use them to mimic scenarios that are difficult to reproduce in, in reality with real databases um, but are possible uh, when using mocks. Let us shortly talk about um, what makes a good test. Um, a test should be clearly arranged. So you should look on the test and see what happens. Where's the setup, where's the, um, the test code and where's the um, verification of your test. Um, it should execute quickly always. It should help you to locate a problem quickly. You should um, see the problem with the system under test and not with some other classes. The biggest advantage of automatic mocking frameworks, um, whether you take Spring 4D or D Sharp or Delphi mocks, is that you can have um, the setup of your tests and the definition of your expectations within the test. With a fluent interface syntax, you can read everything right directly written into your test code. So this is the big advantage of um, these automatic mocking frameworks. For actual Delphi versions, there are at the moment three frameworks out there that you can use to uh, do automatic mocking. They are um, similar, um, there are quite some differences. Um, D Sharp was the first one um, um, with Delphi mocks is of about five years ago. Um, a little bit later came um, Spring for d mocks. Um, they all have a similar approach with some, some little differences. In this video I want to focus on Spring for d uh, let us look at the a little bit of history. Uh, it's an open source library for Delphi um, under Apache license and started 2010 on Google Code, changed later to Bitbucket and is actually maintained by Stefan Glinke, um, who's pushing it forward um, all the time. There's plenty of stuff in it, dependency injection container, generic interfaces for lists and collections, multicast events, nullable types and so on. It's, uh, I, I could uh, talk about the contents um, a whole video. Um, since the version 1.2 it's containing a mocking framework too and uh, we want to look at these classes or records we have in this mocking framework. Um, here are some links for the Spring 4D. This installation is quite simple. If you download it from Bitbucket and unzip it to a destination directory, you'll find a build.exe. Um, just start it, select all Delphi IDEs on your machine you want to install it for. Um, you can select a, a special checkbox to update the registry for you, which um, extends the library path automatically uh, so that you don't need to hustle around with your path for Win32 and 64 and so on. It's uh, quite easy to install. In Spring4D, mocking is realized with the generic record and some interfaces, generic interfaces, um, to realize this mocking stuff. Um, it uses a fluent interface um, technique for easy setup. We will see it in just a few minutes. And um, you can simply include one unit, Spring Mocking, in your users class uh, to get started with the mocking framework. There's a generic record you can um, set up for your interface 
and um, use the setup method to define the behavior you want. Like in other frameworks, um, the uh, mocking framework in Spring 4D has some limitations. Um, these limitations go back to the RTDI support in Delphi. So you can only mock out interfaces which inherit from I invocable instead of I interface. Um, of course, you need runtime type information on these interfaces, and you can only mock out virtual methods of classes, no static methods or so. But this is um, the same for um, other frameworks too. Before we take a deeper look at the uh, mocking records and interfaces um, with Spring 4D mocking, let us uh, take a short look at the classes I prepared for this demo. Um, there's a little shopping basket class maintaining an imaginary shopping basket. Um, it can have some vouchers um, to get it uh, cheaper and um, some items I can have in the basket. The items themselves are records with a name, description, count and price. The shopping basket class itself is just responsible for maintaining and calculating the complete basket. Um, the details for logging or other stuff, loading items, um, are um, delegated to other classes or better um, spoken to other interfaces. So a constructor um, accepts uh, one logger and um, one voucher calculator interface. It's a dependency injection pattern constructor injection and um, the loader would be a method injection pattern. So um, the calculate method, if we look into it, um, this is the method I want to test um, in this sample. Um, it just sets back the results and um, gets the item price, which means um, it calculates through all the items in the basket, getting the sum out of it. Um, this is something I could test um, without having a voucher calculator with me. And um, the um, vouchers will be calculated in the next method, calculate discount. Here we will um, go through all the vouchers in this basket and call our interface calculate voucher method um, with some data entry. So um, this is um, the, the core, what we will test um, in a few minutes um, with the help of Spring 4D. So getting this um, into a test frame. If you look at the code, um, you see um, that um, even for the simplest test, we need um, some um, solution for our logger. Um, a normal logger should not be used. The normally, loggers use something like file system, event systems, um, database, or something like that. We don't want that. Um, the easiest way to do this um, um, manually without a framework would be to write something like a null object. This is a stub for this um, to get it to work uh, without um, access violations. I've already prepared this. Um, it's a little bit of work, but not much. Just um, an interface object implement an iLogger and empty methods. Yeah, that's the null object pattern. And um, in my test setup for my class, I'm just using this null logger, um, create it, get the interface into the shopping basket so I can um, call every method without um, having problems. I have already prepared some tests um, driving um, through um, simple scenarios, an empty basket, a single item, um, an item with a count um, different to one, um, many items in the basket and um, all are calculated and um, it is checked um, whether total value of this items is correct or not. So the, these tests um, should run without problems, but there's one test using um, the voucher um, that should fail. Our voucher um, is a null pointer, so um, this can't work at the moment. Um, this leads us to our mocking framework. Um, we have already seen uh, we just need one unit to get this to work, spring mocking. Um, I include this unit. Then I um, go to my test class and add a voucher mock to it. Um, I take a record mock from this unit and um, I use the type I want to replace. This is the e voucher calculator. And um, that's all. I need to do in the declaration of my test class and then, then I go out there, take my um, 
take my mock and um, here in my parameter where I have the interface I just pass the mock record and um, in my teardown method I just add the voucher mock dot free this is a cleanup method um, in the record itself um, if you're wondering why can I pass the record because this is a record mock um, a generic record um, where an interface is expected um, this is uh, due to the fact that we have um, in this record a bunch of class operators being overloaded and giving me back the type T or an interface I mock or mock from T um, so I can cast from one to another without having work for me and um, we see um, some create methods. Um, if I want to um, initialize the record explicitly, um, I can do this with this class functions create and um, the free method uh, we've seen it's just setting back the internal um, proxy for the um, mocked object. So um, this record um, is um, easy to use. I've just declared it for the right type um, and I just use um, the record instead of my um, interface implementation for my shopping basket and I can go to my test to test the voucher and do the setup. Yes, um, We have this um, part in the test uh, to arrange um, our expectations. Um, I've already some samples for my voucher. The voucher is added and now I have to tell the mocking framework um, what do I want, um, what the framework should do for me. So I go to my uh, voucher mock, go to the setup of this mock, and um, here are three options. Um, depending on whether I want to execute a procedure or execute a function um, with a return value or want to raise an exception. In our case we want to return a value um, and we want to return a currency value. Um, the value 20 um, is not clear for the compiler which uh, kind of data type we have so um, this is ge a generic method and I just um, give the type and um, get back the sample value so um, then um, I define the condition in which case do I want to return the uh, sample value and the when is um, my method calculate voucher is called and um, I have to provide the parameters in which case should this be called so um, it is called um, with the um, single item dot price for the current value and it is called with an empty customer ID and it is called um, with a voucher of sample code hopefully so um, what does this line mean? Um, little mocking framework if you have been called with this parameters just return this value so nothing more is written down here um, as you can see thanks to generics um, we have all the methods in our interfaces here with um, with the help of Delphi so um, we can now calculate the value we should get back the value and we could check um, whether the total discount is uh, corresponding to our value. If I uh, run this uh, test code now, it's getting green. So um, really easy to uh, mimic my um, interface behavior with this mock. Currently we really haven't done more than mimicking a special behavior. Um, I could break the test if I change my parameters here. Um, we will get um, a wrong value back. We have expected 20 but it was 0. Um, we only have defined uh, behavior for um, this parameter combination and this parameter combination is never called. So um, setup returns nothing, the default value 0 um, when it is not defined. Yes, um, so we have just mimicked the behavior. We have not checked yet um, what calls have been issued. It could be that we never called the interface. It could be that we uh, called the interface twice or 
um, double the time um, we have not checked this so far um, I could um, set up different cases and and return values here and um, everything would work um, also so um, I could return 10 when calculate voucher is called with a um, sample code give me back 10 yeah. so this will potentially never happen until I would go here and um, add another voucher with give me back 10 so um, this is just um, the behavior I'm defining um, if we have other mocking frameworks um, they normally have a, a verify method something like verify um, which um, checks um, whether every expectation we have um, defined here um, is uh, has been called in exactly the form we want um, this is um, a little bit different in the uh, spring for d framework um, the method we would call here is the received method received um, has an optional parameter um, to provide the times so I expect the, um, the method is uh, called. In this case I expect the method to be called once um, and um, it should be called with this um, method and it should be called with um, this parameters. So um, this is my um, checking, behavior checking call. Received times once calculate voucher um, if I would change this and say I expect it to be called um, times um, what do we have exactly um, at least 6 my test should fail because it's called just one time unexpected call count at least six times but it was one times so um, with this um, receive method I can easily check um, if the behavior is as I expected and that's a little bit different than um, checking just the, the, the state so um, we have seen the, the setup we have seen um, how to check um, the behavior of code um, if you have um, a strict behavior you want to um, to um, check every single call and make sure um, your uh, mock is behaving um, very strict you could um, change this behavior you could set up your mock um, within the setup to set it to the mode strict we do this um, using um, the um, static uh, method we've seen before the create method it has some um, parameters and I can um, change the mock behavior here to um, strict so um, if now um, s one call is issued that we that we haven't um, defined before um, we will immediately get an exception for a, a call that is um, issued but um, not um, not expected if I comment out this our test will fail if um, we start it and execute it because um, calculate is just issuing this um, parameter combination and this parameter combination is gone we don't have it unexpected call a function call and this is exactly the parameters um, we would expect from a normal working class so setting the uh, mock into strict mode is another way to check um, the behavior of your mock um, you can um, change this behavior um, within the test um, you don't um, need to do this via the uh, constructor call um, if we look at the voucher mock behavior this is something we can change within some test you don't need to do this with this initialization part so after this um, short demo and short overview let us get back to the um, slideshow 
and just um, talk about the um, open issues. We've seen how to set up the mock, um, how to call these um, these methods. Um, what we haven't seen so far is the generic RecordT arg. If um, I want to be uh, more flexible with my arguments, I could um, use this um, record and it's is any is in is nil methods to um, to um, provide parameters in a more generic way. Um, we have talked about the mock behavior in the sample, and we have talked about checking the results already. And there's one point left I want to talk about: is the order of calls. If um, you have Spring for D um, and checking for three or four methods and you want to um, check for a special order in which the calls are issued, um, you need uh, another record mock sequence. Um, just define a local variable of this um, kind of type and pass it as a parameter for setup. And then um, if you're done with your execution of code, um, you can check um, the completed method of um, the mock sequence record um, if every method call is uh, has been done in the right uh, um, in the right order. So um, this is the last point. Thank you for watching. Um, I have a landing page on my homepage um, with links to articles, slides and sources for this video. There are some more samples and articles about this topic um, on my page. Um, just follow this link on the on the last slide. If you have any questions feel free to mail me um, at the mail address you find here um, within the slide. Um, thanks again for watching. I um, hope to meet you on at some conference somewhere um, and have a nice day. Thank you.